What's up guys, my name is Nick Chiquato and I'm a strength and conditioning coach here at Ultimate Fitness. And these videos are gonna be designed to help teach you guys how to open up and strengthen your T-spine and your hips. Because these are two different areas that get really tight from sitting all the time and they're not designed to be tight. So the first part of this series is gonna be designed to help foam roll and open up the areas. The second part is gonna be designed to help stretch out the, the hips and the T-spine. And then the third part is gonna be designed to help reinforce the positions that we just created with the stretching, uh, with strength training. So, stay tuned. All right guys, so the first part of opening up our T-spine is gonna to be to mobilize the tissue on the side of our body, which is our lats. So you're gonna take the roller and you're gonna put it right underneath your armpit. And then you're gonna go ahead and play around with opening up your chest towards the ceiling and then looking down towards the ground. And you're looking for points of tension. As you, uh, as you go down your side, you're gonna just keep doing this. So open up and then close. And then when you find a spot, you go ahead, park the, the brakes and then try to breathe into the position. So you try to Inhale through your nose and then exhale through your mouth. When you inhale, you want to think about trying to push your stomach and your rib cage out. Let your rib cage and your stomach expand. And then as you exhale, the roller will sink a little bit deeper and it'll help mobilize the tissue and get blood flow to the area. So you have a lot of surface area for your lat. Your lat goes all the way down to your hips and connects to your pelvis. You can literally go right down your side. As you start going down your side, I recommend trying to open up that chest so then you can get the muscles to the side of your spine like your QL, which usually get pretty tight. So spend about two minutes per side and have fun with it. Okay. Guys, now that we've uh, mobilized the tissue in our lats and we're trying to open up our T-spine, we're gonna go ahead and do a stretch for the T-spine. So we're gonna take our leg, cross it over, Bottom hand grabs that top knee, and you're gonna take your other hand, grab the back of your head. So uh, this knee acts as like an anchor. I keep it just about on the ground, if not really close to it. And then I go ahead, straighten out my other leg, and I start breathing as I open up my opposite shoulder towards the ground. I'm gonna feel a big stretch across my, my chest, um, in my side body, in this lat, in this T-spine. And I'm opening up now. Eventually, I'm gonna to try to get this top shoulder towards the ground. But I'm gonna spend, you know, about a minute to two minutes right here, just breathing. Inhale through the nose. I'm trying to think about expanding my rib cage into this area. And I'm exhaling through my mouth as I rotate a little bit farther. All right, guys. So now that we've uh, mobilized the tissue and our lats opened up our mid spine through that sideline T-spine opener. Now we're gonna reinforce the position that we just created, that new range of motion, with a either an arm bar or a thoracic bridge. So with the, the arm bar, this is your first option. Let me get on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and lie on my back. I'm gonna grab a kettlebell or a small weight to start with. I press it overhead, put my same side knee up. Take my other arm over, and now I'm gonna kick over. Bring my knee down. I start in this position with my knee bent at 90 degrees. This top arm I just use as a pillow, and then I'm just holding in this top arm, packing the shoulder blade down and back, and I'm gonna eventually work my top hip towards the ground until I can hold this position for 30 seconds. When, once you can hold this for 30 seconds, then you're gonna have a good amount of stability in your thoracic spine, and you're gonna be able to do the thoracic bridge, and you're gonna be, feel a lot better. So, 30 seconds, now let's switch sides, put the kettlebell aside, bring it over, pretend like it's a heavy weight. Other side, same side knee, other arm over, kick over, and then again, Start with that knee bend, 90 degrees. We go over all the way. Put that shoulder down and back. And I'm holding it up towards that arm. Okay, so 30 seconds right there. So that's option one, first place to start. If uh, 
you're pretty tight in your spine. If you don't have access to a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you can do a thoracic bridge, which would be this. You can start on your butt, feet about hip width apart, take one hand behind you, bridge up, and then you're gonna post your weight into that hand, bridge your hips up towards the sky. You got a tight stomach, I'm trying to pull my shoulder down and back. So we're doing the same thing here as with the, the arm bar. It's just this is a little bit more of a intense position. So better to start with the arm bar, then go to this. And again, you're gonna try to hold this for 30 seconds.